Hello and welcome to my channel Tech and Tips with King. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Feather OS in your Android using Limo PC Emulator. So without any wasting of time, let's get into the video. In this video, I am going to show how you can run Feather OS in your Android using Limo PC Emulator application. Feather OS is basically lightest OS based on Linux. The DOM loading in the description, you can check out there and download from there. So as you can see, this is the Feather OS and I have pasted uh, in my uh, Android internal storage. So as you can see, this is the uh, Feather OS and it will be in the approx 119 GB, the DOM, uh, 119 MB, the DOM loading in the description. So after downloading Feather OS, you have to install the Limbo PC Emulator application and there are a lot of videos on my channel, you can check out my channel. After downloading and installing the Limbo PC Emulator application, you have to open the Limbo PC Emulator application. So this is the interface of the Limbo PC Emulator application. And the second thing you have to download the Hackers Keyboard. So Hackers Keyboard uh, in my previous video, I've already told you to download and install. If you are using emulators in your Android, the, the Hacker Keyboard is very uh, useful and necessary for people who want to uh, run uh, so this is the hackers keyboard as you can see in the screen this is the hackers keyboard and i have enabled the arrow up and down side arrow buttons in the keyboard and this is the very useful keyboard make sure to download it and now i am going to give the machine name so i have given the machine name feather os just click to cancel now you have to set uh, into the gear cpu boards I have always select the Codeo so I am going to select the Codeo in CPU course I am going to select uh, 4 and RAM I am going to give about uh, uh, 1000 MB RAM so it will be going to approx 1 GB RAM so I have uh, done with the CPU and board now you have to get into the removal drive and just uh, click to CD-ROM and just click to none click to open now you have to open and select the feather OS you have to search for it so I have created a folder with OS name and so as you can see this is the feather OS you have to select it so I have selected the feather OS now you have to select the boot you have to select a boot from a CD CD-ROM you have to select the network the internet is perfectly working in this because this is the Linux and every in every Linux the internet is perfectly work and all the softwares so I have selected the network at first it will on the none you have to select on the user and make it default so here network card you have to set a set on the default so we have done all the settings in the limbo pc emulator and then you have to just click to play button and make sure you have using the hackers keyboard so before uh, running the feather os in your android using limbo pc emulator you make sure you have uh, downloaded and installed the feather uh, hackers keyboard in your android phone so as you can see this is the feather os uh, startup uh, screen and here you have to just click to enter and we're going to start uh, going to boot the feather os in android so as you can see it will sing a tiny desktop distribution so this is the very light os based on linux so here it will going to take some time so i'm going to fast forward this video and come back after it's fully loaded So after taking some time in booting and showing some commands, so it will showing like this, the blue screen and it will showing some options. So here uh, the main use of the hackers keyboard. Now here you have to enable the keyboard and you have to, as you can see it will showing some options on the screen. You have to just uh, uh, click on the uh, down arrow button, you have to select the second option and just click to enter. So it will asking me to you uh, you want to use USB mouse. So I'm just uh, selecting no because uh, we are running this Feather OS in the Limbo, so it have the touch uh, mouse. So I'm just click on no, and it will again asking me the uh, mouse wheel. So I'm just clicking again down down. So with using this down, I'm using uh, with hacker keyboard up and down button. I'm selecting this. I'm just click to no and just click to enter. So it will ask me to select the mouse button so I'm going to select the three buttons and just click to enter. So I've done all the uh, settings of the booting time so, so as you can see the feather OS has been uh, 
the feather has has been uh, booted and successfully opened here as you can see it successfully booted and loaded in android so as you can see at first the mods console will not work so if it doesn't work you have to just pinch zoom in on the screen and the mods console will started working and as you can see at first it will uh, open the browser and uh, giving some detail about the feather os so this is the feather os linux 0.7.5 in upcoming video i try to uh, show the upgraded version so i'm going to just uh, show you how the internet's working or not in this uh, linux so i'm going to search the google search engine in this browser So I've entered the URL. So as you can see, uh, the internet is perfectly working. Just now I've searched the Google.com in the search bar and and it's up here. So let uh, search any other thing in the Google. So as you can see, the Google search engine is also working. So it will showing the search result in the browser. So as you can see, the internet is perfectly working. Make sure you are using the hacker's keyboard while using this Feather OS. Now I'm going to open any other software of this Feather OS. So I'm go. So I have opened the terminal CMD. Come. So this is the CMD. Uh, in Windows they are CMD. In Linux they are terminal. With term using terminal you can hack anything. A lot of people tell me there is no CMD in Linux, but a lot of people don't know about the terminal and the commands. So while using name the CMD, I give the example. So this is not the CMD. This is the terminal. Now I'm showing you. So as you can see, the uh, the terminal is perfectly working. I've just typing some commands which I know. So as you can see, the see terminal is perfectly working. You have connected with the internet, so you can do a lot of things with it. You can hack anything. So after check the uh, terminal is perfectly working. The browser is perfectly working. The internet is perfectly working. So as you can see, this is the Feather OS perfectly working in Android, and there are a lot of lot of options. So let me just show you. There are a lot of preloaded softwares with it. So as you can see, in apps, apps have uh, editors, multimedia, internet. There are a lot of preloaded uh, or softwares, um, browsers, Office. So as you can see, so this is the perfectly working and latest OS. Linux working and running in Android. So that's it for this video. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. Like this video. Share this video. If you're getting any problem, let me know in the comments. Thank you.